Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, upon popular request, we finally going to react to Hamza Yusuf with his video Dunya Birth to Death. As you can see in the background, this is one of his older videos. However, it has been recommended multiple times to me. It is roughly eight minutes long, so therefore the perfect format to react to. Let's have a look. The second uh, realm, and I'm going to go into each one uh, more is the period of life from birth to death. So the first one is the pre-worldly uh, realm. And this is called uh, the period Ahdul Mithaq, which I'll get into in a second. The Mithaq. The second is Dunya. Now in Arabic, the word dunya comes from a root word, uh, dunya, and it has a few meanings. One of them is reaching out for grapes. Mm, interesting. That will, they, every time you, you get near them, they move a little further away from you. In our so language, dunya the, means fig, the very, very sweet fruit that grows on trees. The idea there is that the phenomenal world is that we, as we attempt to grasp it, we're moving away, right? Paul mm. Simon has a song called Slip Sliding Away, right? The nearer you are to your destination, the more you're slip sliding away, right? And it's about death, is that, you know, you're... And, and, and that, uh, that idea is captured in a wonderful hadith of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in which he drew in the sand a box. And then he drew a line and he drew uh, a, a line up here. He didn't write it, but he drew a line here at the top of this line. And then he drew a line out here. And he said that this was a man's journey in life. And these lines were the arad, they were the vicissitudes of his journey. At each stage, things will happen to him. If they don't do him in, he moves to the next one. Yep, that's true. Until he reaches at this, the ajal is your appointed term. And it could be at any point because people are different. It could be at any point along the way. But there, for people who go all the way through, they reach old age and what gets them is known as haram. Haram? And there's a tradition in which the Prophet said, peace be upon him, that the, the children of Adam, God has given them the ability to do all things except conquer haram. They can't conquer old age. Haram means old and age. He also said so does this mean that haram means forbidden but old age at the same time? That's very confusing to me because I didn't know that. And he also when I hear haram, I think about forbidden. said that anxiety was half of haram. Right? That yeah. having a lot of anxiety uh, will, will actually uh, cut your life in half. For sure. So as you're moving up through life, you reach this ajal. But then he had a line outside of the box. And he said, this was a man's amal, which is his hope. 
So a man's hope is always beyond his time. Interesting. And it's, this is a really important motif. There's a verse in the Quran that says, Dharhum ya'kuru wa yatamatta'u wa yulhihim amaluhum. Leave them, these people that reject what you're telling them about the inevitability of the next life. Leave them to eat and enjoy themselves and to be entertained. And yulhihim means to preoccupy themselves with their hope. Mm. And indeed, they will come to know. In other words, their ajal will come and then they're going to realize that the ajal preceded the hope. And he also said that people, they will never reach it. two things never saying. grow old in people. Desire for life and desire for uh, more. It is true, my mother is a nurse and she will report that 90 plus year olds after five heart attacks are still fighting for their lives. They're holding on to it. It means people that uh, are deluded. So the, this, this desire for extended life and, and the interesting thing is the longer a person is here, the more accustomed they get. Of course. They don't want to change. You, know, you get up every morning, you have your rituals, your coffee, your breakfast, you go to work, you see yeah. the same people. Uh, you get accustomed to being here. And we, we get, uh, we, we're, we're, we're in this very interesting uh, experience of the permanence. And every yes. once in a while... Absolutely. The longer we are here, the longer we experience life, the more we forget that we're actually experiencing life and we see this as something permanent. We get delusional and believe that this is permanent, even though it is the exact opposite. It is temporal. If you look at a child, on the other hand, and you see how they exist in the moment and they're simply experiencing life as is, not thinking about the past, not thinking about the future, but simply being in the present moment you can clearly see that this is a temporal experience that the child doesn't even reflect upon but we however we do not reflect but we became delusional as i said and we believe that this will go on forever this is where movements such as transhumanism stem from it stems from the fear of death of course you see the promise of liberalism the promise of veganism is essentially the promise of transhumanism where we don't have have to live this experience as humans anymore, as if that is something valuable. There are things that happen that kind of shake us a little bit. Like one day you come to work and so-and-so was in an accident or, sure. so, or you get a phone call and your mother just died sure. or a good friend or something. There are these reminders and they kind of shake people a little bit, but most people brush themselves off and, and just... They fall back into the coma, man. Go along. Get I don't know how they do it, honestly. I think about death every single day. On with it, right? And not so on purpose. We, just me. we have this really, and this is why. all about this lower world, the dunya, because it's like the grapes, we're always reaching for it, and it's always moving away, because the moment we came into life, into this dunya realm, uh, our death, we're moving inevitably towards our death. One of my teachers in the we're desert when I was it. leaving, uh, and it was a camel journey of about a day, uh, the last thing he said to me, he said, this journey that you're taking this morning is like your life. You're moving towards a destination and every step that your camel makes takes you a step closer to that destination. Exactly and right. I had a psychedelic experience once where I saw exactly that phenomena that I was running towards the end and then I saw other people running towards the end as well and the only difference was what we were doing during this lifetime. Some people they exercised and they stayed physically fit. Other people were fed. Other people slept a lot. Other people woke up in the morning and ultimately it didn't matter because we all ran into the same destination and we cannot stop death.
that every breath you take is a step closer to exactly. the termination of your breaths. So keep that in mind along yeah. the way. And I was with a, a West African. We arrived at a, a, an airport and he'd never been on one of these uh, moving, uh, not the, the escalators, but the actual Stairs. sidewalks. Yeah. And we got on it and we were standing there moving along and he said, this is amazing. This is just like our lives. <laughs> we think we're standing still, but we're moving towards our deaths. <laughs> yeah, man. And then it was really interesting because at the right. end of the, uh, of the sidewalk there, there was a sign that said, uh, caution, the you end. You can literally just sit on the couch and watch Netflix and time is still running towards your destination. Of the sidewalk there, there was a sign that said, uh, Caution, the end comes abruptly. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> That's true. So there's, that is You don't the know metaphor, when it comes, man. Right. <laughs> and this is the point that unlike that escalator where you know where it's going to end, the, 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 you know, this, this walkway of life that we're on, the end can come at any point. Anytime, bro. And so keeping this in mind is something that's really important. I'm going to go a little bit into that. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. This is the first time that I watched a lecture of Hamza Youssef. However, I saw the dialogue between him and Jordan Peterson. Very enjoyable to watch. However, I liked this little presentation here even better. And I absolutely align with everything that has been said. Because as I mentioned countless times already, I had psychedelic experiences. And in those psychedelic experiences, I got insights just like that. Time is running out for all of us and we are all here on borrowed time essentially. One has longer, the other one shorter. It is all nothing in comparison to eternity. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support me on Patreon, check out the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for that. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.